Hi everyone. So I finally went and made another purchase. I just uh, have been doing a lot of research and kind of watching a lot of the videos that are on YouTube from the, uh, you know, all of the uh, the usual uh, other Louis Vuitton addicts as like myself. And um, I, you know, there were three bags that I were I was contemplating on getting, and um, just. When I got to the store, I still had a hard, difficult time making the decision, but I finally did. So, if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so um, I've got the boxes out of the bag. In fact, I made two purchases today. Um, one was a bag, and um, one was another item. So, you know, just going through the logistics, here's the receipt and the envelope that they come in. I actually... I went to two stores. The first store that I went to, I went and purchased the uh, the first bag. And like I said, I was at the store, looked at three of them, and um, just could not make up my mind. But then finally I narrowed it down to two. Then I didn't know which, uh, can't you know, which style I wanted. Did it, should it be the Damier Bean or the Monogram? Um... My first purchase was the Damier Bean, um, if I'm saying that correctly. But then I thought, you know, I have an Abine already, and it's uh, 35 without the strap. But I finally went and got the Bandolier. And what made me decide, of course, to get this one, as I mentioned, was because I already have a Speedy, uh, the original Speedy with no straps as the 35 and the Damier Bean. Uh, print. Every bag that I looked at at the Louis Vuitton store was made in the USA, whether it was the Damier or the uh, Monogram. And I thought, oh. after I walked out of the store and I told my daughter, I was like, oh, I think I should have bought the Monogram. I said, but let's go look at uh, Neiman Marcus. And so we did, and I um, they checked. And they uh, didn't have one made in France, um, but they said we can call and see if uh, Neiman Marcus, no wait, I first went to Saks Fifth Avenue and then they called Neiman Marcus. And Neiman Marcus had two in stock and one of them was made in France. So we headed over there and I did my exchange, but this one here says... Let's see. I don't know if it's going to focus. Made in France. That beautiful print. And even the woman at Saks was like, I don't know why customers request bags from France. You know, what's the difference? And I, I tried to explain it to her, but, you know, she just was, I think, just kind of being a smart ass about it. But who cares? I want what I want. This is an investment. This is something that... Um, I just spend a lot of money on so I uh, definitely want it to be from the country I want it to be from so everything's here uh, my, my difficulty was that did I want the 25 did I want the 30 did I want the never full GM the new version with the mini pouch and and the fuchsia colored lining and I had all three laid out at Louis Vuitton and like I said I walked away with one then decided to take it back at the, you know, later that, like an hour later, and um, made this purchase instead. So I'm very pleased with this. I think it's beautiful. I The only other monogram print bag that I have is my, um, let's see, the GM, the delightful GM over there. And this would be my second one. You know, I have the, the mini pochette uh, that's in the... the new uh model version i have the mini pochette and, and the pochette the that's the new model so that's a correction there i am very pleased with this and you know just to let you know my husband is is uh, a wonderful man as i've mentioned before in other videos he uh, he gave me the money to purchase this he's uh, truly the best thing in my life and uh, not because he is able to provide me with these type of things, but because he understands, you know, 
that I like to find her things and he lovingly gives me money whenever I need it so you know this is my early Mother's Day present probably Christmas present <laughs> but anyway I'm, I'm so happy with it but while I was there the sales associate at the Louis Vuitton store was like you know have you seen the chains the dress up the bag because she saw my uh, my insolent charm on my uh, speedy that I had and I, said, ah, I said those are a little too high for me I, I think they're beautiful but I said I do want to make another purchase and the purchase that uh, she helped me with was the um, the bando and you know the one that I've been looking for is the um, multicolor black version of course they don't make that anymore so this is the next best thing that I could find so I'll be using this to dress up that bag and any other bag that I have up there that I want to um, so you know this is what I got like I said it was really difficult I almost walked away with a 25 but when I tried everything on the 30 just really worked better for my frame and and my needs uh, and what I need to have with me in a bag and even if I wanted to lighten it up the 30 would still work and it has the beautiful wonderful strap all important strap that a speedy bandolier has so I'm very pleased with this purchase I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you again soon. Bye.